Hello everyone, this is Craft, and I just want to show off what I'm working on right now. And I'm working on GUI lasers right now, so let me just hop right into what GUI lasers are. So as the title, or the name of GUI laser implies, a GUI laser is a completely two-dimensional object which emulates a 3D one. Let me demonstrate this. So if I come over here, you'll notice that there are these little lasers, or bullets, that look like they're 3D, but they're actually not. They're completely two-dimensional, and there are no 3D objects that are traveling in their place. So the way this works is it uses ray casting and then a lot of math to determine what size the laser should be, and then it sizes it and positions it and rotates it. So it looks skewed, warped, and everything, and appears like it's 3D. Now, the method that I'm using right now is completely 100% my code, but it is exactly what other games, such as Phantom Forces, use for their lasers. And if you notice when I move the screen, the lasers kind of, you know, wobble around and wiggle, and that's not how lasers actually should work. You might also notice that the lasers, um, look like they need... It's kind of hard to tell, but the lasers don't have any anti-aliasing, and they don't glow. So I actually created a fix for that. Let me just show off my version, well, my method, and this is what I have created uh, to fix the issue. So you might notice that these lasers are kind of glowing, and they also look smoother, and they don't rely on motion. They don't rely on motion to appear or be visible. And if I shake the screen, they don't create all this weird stuff. So I still have yet to complete optimizing all these lasers, but in general, they will be a lot faster than having a hundred 3D or three-dimensional lasers, because if you have that, then it's going to cause a lag on even powerful systems, and it's not suitable for gameplay. So yeah, that's just what I'm working on now. I'll show off more content later. Alright.